This is my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 69. Yes, this episode gets some while receiving some orally. Ha ha. Now it's over. I said it. Moving on. And of course, I have to throw out the old spoiler alert because this episode will spoil stuff. So, if you watch this and get spoiled, don't get so angry about it because I warned you. No complaining. So yes, episode 69. It wasn't so bad. Everyone's freaking out about it. We'll get back to that in a minute. I'll just review it super briefly here. Long story short, they brought all the Dr. Slump cast into Dragon Ball, which kind of mixed things up because Dr. Slump, you know, it's more of a comedy. It's a gag manga. And it'd be the same thing as, you know, if you're bringing in, like, you know, Bugs Bunny or something like that into Dragon Ball Z. The characters are completely different. They're not meant to, you know, to have overall fighting strength. They break reality with their comedy and stuff like that. And we'll get to that in a minute. So, it was really cool, actually, to see a rally interact with Goku again, because, you know, back in Dragon Ball, a rally interacted with Goku by saving him from General Blue. Um, well, would rather say saving him, because Goku kind of had it in, you know, had the fight under his belt anyways. But anyways, it was really cool to uh, see the fight go on between um, a rally and General Blue. Um, Goku says that a rally is stronger than him, and he's like, wow, I'm, you're a lot stronger than me. There's a lot of stronger people out there. So back in Dragon Ball, a rally was stronger than Goku. And I always wonder what would happen if they met up again. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Dr. Slump, especially when I was reading that when I was younger. I knew nothing about Dr. Slump. So, um... Yeah, I had no idea who Rally really was, and now I understand it's an old gag manga made by Akira Toriyama. So I thought it'd always be cool, you know, I wonder, I always thought Goku definitely would have surpassed Rally, and even though she doesn't really have, like, power, she's more of, like, a gag comic character. But I thought eventually, you know, Goku would have surpassed her, but I guess that's not the case. Rally is still stronger because, you know, like I said, she she's a comedy character, and she bends physics and whatever, and all the laws of Dragon Ball Z, strength and everything, they don't apply to her, and, and you know, that's fine, that's, it's okay. Maybe they have no idea who Dr. Slump or Rally is, and that kind of makes more sense. I understand why you're a little bit angry, but it's just a joke. It's supposed to, not supposed to be taken seriously. Um, it's they're Like I said, they're all gag manga characters. They can bend reality. It's just like, you know, if um, Goku and Vegeta met up with Bugs Bunny or, like, the Looney Tunes universe. That's the best way I can describe it. They, you know, Bugs Bunny versus Goku. Bugs Bunny would win because he can warp reality. You know, it's funny. He it does it strength and stuff. It doesn't apply to him, and that's okay. But, um, yeah, I had people commenting on my last video, even though it wasn't about uh, episode 69, saying, oh, that bitch, rally, she sucks, or whatever. And, like, yeah, no, it, it, no need to get so upset about it. It's all right, guys, no worries. And then at the very end of the episode, um, they were about to... Uh, Goku and Rally are about to face off, and like I said, a Rally beat Vegeta. It was really, really weird to see a Rally beat Vegeta and have Vegeta, you know, not take things seriously. He was saying, "I'll never fight against a gag manga character again. They're so strong." You know what I mean? Like Vegeta just fucking kicked Vegeta. Did I just say Vegeta kicked Vegeta? A Rally kicked Vegeta like halfway across the planet, and um, yeah, it was pretty funny. He was just kind of way out somewhere else to say like yeah he was just hanging there off a cliff and just saying i'll never fight a rally again he got fucked up and then at the very ending there's a goat guy who's like controlling beerus don't even know his name he beerus comes in and because he's a god of destruction gog manga stuff don't really apply to him apparently and he just finishes him just like that the same way he finishes Zamasu. and that's basically the end of the episode nothing too special to talk about it was a kind of fun enjoyable episode you know it wasn't like the best one ever but um eh, it wasn't too bad it was definitely better than the whole zamasu arc which was supposed to be taken seriously so not a bad episode. I think everyone just needs to calm down and not take it so seriously. It was just a joke episode. It was filler, so don't worry about that either if it really bugs you that much. But once again, Dr. Slump, it's a whole different thing. It's made by Akira Toriyama. We gotta respect it. It's just comedy. Don't take it so seriously, guys. Anyways, have a good day. My name's Quinn. Take it easy.